What's guys, welcome back to the channel. So we had a couple of goodies come in today. Most notably, upcoming release that surprisingly, and I mean surprisingly, was under retail early. Like for over a week now. Under retail, well before release. You saw them in the thumbnail. We've got the Olympic Sixes. Let's kick it. They have some special graphics in the background. White Jumpman logo on this white print. Got the Jordan 6 flip top style box. As you can see, Air Jordan 6 Retro White Varsity Red. So, a little more to it than that, but you can see that same print on the navy blue base portion of the box. Here we go. The that same print is on the wax paper. I did scoop these up from Goat Early. So let's check these beautiful things out together. Double wax paper. Chapeau. Here we have it. One of what has become one of my favorite silhouettes, the bricks, known as the Jordan Retro 6. So beautiful Olympic colorway. The Olympics are going on right now. Beautiful bottom. Navy blue, red jump man. Icy soul as we come up dense polyurethane midsole, visible air unit in the heel, encapsulated air unit in the forefoot. The leather seems decent. I would say the leather quality is about the same as the reverse Oreos, the white and blacks. As far as squeezing them and everything, there's a, there's, they're not super soft. It's a tumbled leather look and you can see the shape to the toe box because if you've seen the images, if you haven't owned the previous versions in the past, the toe box shape has been boxy, it's been slim lined, it's been very different. This is closer to the original and I want to say the second, the first retro, where it's more of a slim line toe. I do like that slim line look. It's better than that boxy looking one that I, I didn't own, but I saw the image and I was like, whew, I'm glad it doesn't look like that. But um, decent cut, looks like a split grain leather. As I look at everything, toe down view is money. These are fresh. I like that navy toe with the white overlays. As we look at the lateral side, you can see that same white tumble leather overlays with navy blue tumble leather underneath as we come around. Got the thick padding, big navy blue spoiler slash pull tab, Nike, I mean jo Jordan Air logo on the back in red because it's not an original colorway because the Olympics were the sevens. Which I know a lot of people would like to come around again. Hey, I mean, I'd be down for those too. Here we go, medial side. More of the same. As we look down, you have, I actually love this neoprene uh, kind of lace keeper of some sort. I forgot the official name for it, but neoprene with the embroidered Jumpman logo. You got the red lace lock and then the kind of oval style laces. I do like these laces, gotta say. And as we come up the top, the tongue, the big bulky gigantic tongue one of the best parts of the six this big rubberized tongue says air jordan up top and then uh, i'm confident it's going to be a dream cell insole i uh, almost would say i would bet money on it with plush like a nylon cotton blend for the uh the liner here so let's grab this insole yeah feeling that that's definitely dream cell indeed it is Navy blue sock liner, white jump man that will rub off after probably two wearings max. I would say it all depends. And then we got that plush, thick, squishy dream cell. Um, you know, not as good as polyurethane, but way better than cheap EVA. So kind of the middle ground when it comes to standard insoles that come with these, these Jordan releases. Here you can see the board last. Let me fold that tongue down. You can see the board last on the inside. No strobel. Just that stiff board last that rock hard. You ain't feeling no air soles. I mean, that is. Hear me flicking it, then. Rock hard. I mean, comfort was not a thing back then. It was 91. 
the six came out? 90, 91, something like that. I don't remember specifically. I, I should look that up. That's some pretty important information when talking about these sneakers. Um, it's a 2024 retro release. I'm going to say this is the fourth time these have retroed. Five counting the original, because the original is not an original colorway. Late 90s it came out, maybe 2000, 2001. I forgot exactly. It's, it's you know, not around the original release date of the, when the 6 was the current model. But these are fresh, man. I mean, if you don't like white and navy blue, very neutral, monochrome, little subtle hits of red. Just a little bit. A little bit on the front, a little bit on the back. Just a little bit. It's all you need. Looks good. Nobody's going to see that on the bottom unless you're just walking around with your, you know, flexing on the toe. <laughs> People have to be looking for behind or you're kicking your foot up or something. You super kick somebody. You see the young, bu young bucks on Dynamite wearing these, that you'll see it come up when they super kick somebody. That's about the extent of it. But yeah, these are fresh. You'll have seen them on feet throughout. I haven't put them on feet yet. I've come to really enjoy and love the way the sixes look. I actually have the hair sixes and the UNC sixes I've had for a while now. I just haven't gotten around to filming the content on. So I haven't worn them because I try to keep these things nice and fresh and crispy for these videos before I, I rock them. So uh, probably in the next two weeks we'll be doing those because I've been itching to wear them. But these are rock hard. If you want comfort, these ain't it. Um, these are about style. These are fresh. These are a clean retro look. This is one of the coolest looking silhouettes they've ever come out with. Wildly popular uh, among the Jordan line is the six. I would definitely consider this to be probably a top five silhouette. I think a lot of people would agree with that. Maybe number five, maybe even right outside the top five, but most people are gonna go ones, threes, and fours being the top three, I would think, with 11s being up there. And then I guess five would be a toss up. I think most people would agree ones, threes, and fours are the top three, not necessarily in that order. But the sixes, man. Sixes are legit, happy to get them early. Got them under retail early too, so it was a no-brainer for me. What the hell, why not? Why wait for release? If they're already like 30 bucks below retail, I paid like 180, 185 or something before shipping, so yeah, GOAT. Check them out if you're interested in going ahead and grabbing them if you don't want to bother waiting on the sneakers app for retail because you can get them below retail. Why buy them from Nike for retail if you can get them for cheaper than that before they even release? They are authentic. They are legit. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe before you leave the video. We'll catch you on the next one.